Greetings, 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 wonderful people of God. It's your boy, Minister Chance, the minister that meet people where they at and love on them like our Lord Jesus Christ does. I'd like to welcome my guest, Scott Zion, to the Change of Life Testimonies from Sin the Saints. But hey, y'all, before we get into this interview, let me go ahead and take off this mask so we can get to this truth of the matter and go ahead and put this blessing word of the Lord Jesus Christ out there. What's going on, Brother Stack Zion? How you doing today, brother? I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. I'm pushing. Still amen. alive, still breathing, still in the amen. land of the living. Everything amen. good, man. Amen, amen. That's always good, brother. That's always good. Hey, bro, we're going to start this uh, little thing off, man. What you telling the people, man? Where are you from, man? Where was you born and raised? I'm from Bridgeport, Connecticut. And for those who don't know, that's on the east coast of the United States, the tri-state <laughs> area. New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. Hey, man, hey, man. Good deal, brother. Good deal, good deal. East Coast, East Coast. Hey, brother, would you happen to have a favorite Bible scripture, man, you like to go through, man, go to in a time of need, man, or something just to comfort your soul, man? I do, man. Absolutely. Bit. That's James, man. Um, James, the book of James, first chapter, one through eight, um, excuse me, chapter. Uh, that, that scripture speaks volumes to me because any situation I can find myself in, I can quote it, and it's counted all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing it is the testing of your faith, uh, knowing that it is the faith that produces perfect patience, and patience is perfect work. But let his perfect work be perfect and complete in you, so you are lacking nothing. And if any man lacks anything, let him ask for wisdom, and it would be given to him without reproach. And a man who asks without faith is like a man driven and tossed by the waves of the sea. So no hey. doubt was involved in, in, in that scripture. And that's why I love it, you know? Hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. Hey, man, good word, Stack Zion, brother. Good word, good word, good word. Hey, brother. Hey, man, grew, growing up, man, in, in high school, man, was you the popular kid, man, or was you the kid <laughs> that got picked on? Or, or what type of kid oh, nah. was you in high school? <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. What'd you say, bro? <laughs> nah, you got picked on, bro. <laughs> so, so, I mean... I, uh... No, nah, I was uh, I went to actually three different high schools. Um, started off in a private school for two years. My mom sent me there. Did not want to go, but I ended okay. up meeting. I ended up meeting some awesome people there, like family type to this day. We see each other, so love. But got kicked out of there. Uh, moved to <laughs> okay. VA. <laughs> moved to VA uh, with my pops. You know what I'm saying? Didn't get any better. Got in the fights almost every other day. Uh, okay. You know, rebellious, you know, I, I was finding the streets, wherever you go, it don't matter. If it's in you, it's in you, you're going to find it. <laughs> um, me and me and Pops was, you know, we was bumping heads a little bit, so I had to go back to see, come back to CT, finished okay. off in the public school, Central High School, which is well known out here at Bridgeport and CT. Everybody know about it. Um, okay. Yeah, I graduated uh, at the top of my class as an MC, which brings me here, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, go. Good word, brother Stack Zion. Good word, good word, brother. Hey, man, that's good, bro. Hey, man, if you had to describe your character, man, to a total stranger, mm -hmm. how would you describe Stack Zion to a total stranger, brother? <laughs> wow, yeah, <laughs> that's on the spot. <laughs> uh, there's so much I can say, man. I think I would start off by uh, non judgmental. Um, indifferent. I'm on my own business. Um, okay. And uh, I, 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 man, it's it's so much you can you can fill in the blanks with. Man, it's just okay. So many different like palettes of who I am that it depends on who's asking. Okay. You know what I mean? Who, who I'm talking different. to? Like, most, most I, I, most I, I would I would present myself to you differently okay. than i probably would let's say a female or yeah most definitely, some, most definitely. someone okay. someone that is not uh, of our ethnicity you know yeah, I, would, yeah. I would i would go off the energy or the spirit and, and give them just. whatever I'm, yeah yeah yeah, yeah you meet, would, meet, you know. meet them where they at you know what right, I mean? exactly, meet them where they yeah. at and then and then go from there most definitely yeah i don't I, I don't think i don't think everybody is just one thing amen you know what I'm saying? if you could sit down in a five minute 30 minute uh you know recording and somebody explain 
to you who they are, man. That's amazing because I don't think anybody can do that in 30 minutes or five no. minutes. You know what hey, I mean? Man, no, no, but no. Not, not to be bold what you asked, though. But yeah, 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 yeah. You, you yeah. have to good. be more specific, but that's yeah, the best yeah. That, that's, that, that's good, bro. That's good, bro. That's good, bro. Hey, man, yeah. is there is there any things, man, in your life that ever happened that you look back and you say, dang, man, I regret. Man, I regret oh, doing that. Yeah. I regret Absolutely. leaving the house. I mean, just give me one, brother. I know it's a, it's a lot of times, you know, we go through, be like, man, I should have stayed at home. I shouldn't have went out that night. I shouldn't have did this. Just give me one, brother. Just just one off the top of the head, brother. You ain't got to go, you know, just one. Just one. Oh, man. Well, the one I can think about the most is one of my brothers who I was in a, a particular rap group in okay. about like the year 2007 we were all in the street you know doing whatever mm -hmm. before i before i found god i was still trying to pursue music 100 okay. percent. and I, ha I had a very big team like a very like we were we, you know it was a lot of us we weren't a gang we were just a, yeah. Like, yeah, a bunch a of click. people and, you know nice yeah, little click. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Nice little click. yeah and it was like maybe two or three that i was trying to get out of the streets that i was like yo give 100 percent to the music man as much as you give to the street you'd be more grateful that you put your time into the music because you're able to see something come out of it something productive mm -hmm. and one of my brothers who i spoke to last i just i think back and i just say to myself i should have been i should have been on him a little bit more okay. you know because he was the one that was the furthest out and I should have gave him the most attention because I was like older than him. You know, I was like kind mm -hmm. of the, the, the beacon. Yeah. And now that I think I'm like, man, I wonder if I tried as harder as I, as, as hard as I could. So mm -hmm. sometimes I think about that. Like, I wish I would have just tried a little harder to get him, you know, out of that life. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, uh, you know, he got caught up, rest in peace, green eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, his life was taken to him from him at 21 years old. At the time I was like maybe 26, 27. But still, you know, that that's that's the one that, you know, yeah, sticks out amen. the most. Yeah. Hey amen, hey amen, hey amen. Good, good, good testimony, brother Zach. Stack Zion, man. Good, good, brother. Hey, brother, this is the testimony moment, brother. We and where, what, how, what made you finally say, look, I'm tired mm -hmm. of that life, man. I, I gotta accept the Jesus Christ. I gotta go from sinner and work my way over to the sinks out. It was a dream, man. It was a dream I had. Um, okay. I was always, I was always, I always had mileage with God. Like I, I had a presence in my life ever since I was okay. young. Um, okay. I never identified that presence to be Jesus or, you know, I just knew God was present in my life. Okay. And um, I guess at one point in my life in the world, I was becoming very notable. Okay. I was becoming very well known in the tri-state area, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. I was traveling, um, a bunch of people around me again, and, you know, a clique had a, yeah. like an army around me. Mm -hmm. And um, things started to unfold in the natural. You know what I'm saying? Things start, was starting to happen where yeah. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of action was involved where, mm -hmm. you know, I, I for one was never gun ho in the streets, but I was in a position to call some shots. Yeah. And um, I started having dreams about the outcomes of these situations that I would find myself in. And one day I saw the actual person who mm. was going, going to take my life in the dream. Um, mm. it, it, it's a lot that I'm missing in between, but I'm just- No, 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 you're good. You know, yeah, you're good. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, one day, one night I spent the night over my sister's house. Um, and I and I had a dream of this guy. He was, you know, coming to shake me up. He had a banger. He had a shank. Mm. He had a, he had a, you know, he had a mm -hmm. hawk on him. He was, he was coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I felt the hand grab me, like a, like and cloaked my whole body and lifted me up, mm. and you know, out of his reach. And my whole body was like wrapped up in this hand, you know, like, wow. And it pulled me so fast that I could hear the wind in my ear even when I woke up. You know Man. what I'm saying? And, and it wasn't those kind of like, when you wake up and you're like, oh, and you're wiping the cold out your eyes, my eyes just popped open. Wow. And I, I could still hear the wind in my ear as my eyes were open. 
And I was like, oh, wow, that was real. I I, I didn't know how I knew it was God showing mm -hmm. me my demise, but I, I knew it was God showing me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. showing Some me a, natural, a, they wouldn't have known. Yeah. A ending, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. it looked like the path I was on. And that morning, my, my sister woke me up. This was a Saturday night. I had a dream. I woke up Sunday morning. And Sunday morning, my sister asked me, hey, you want to go to church? Auntie just called me, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you said, good call for this Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. He was right on time. And then when I went, man, I'm talking about this this, this, this apostle was just like everything I was going through. She was just knocking the dominoes down one by one. I was like, okay, it's my time. And uh, I remember having my daughter with me. She was 10 years old at the time. I kissed her on her forehead. Mm. And she didn't know what was going on. That that was just between <laughs> me and her and God's like, oh yeah, my daughter, yeah. oh my mm -hmm. daughter, I swear I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to do it right this time and I'm not going to turn around. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try my best, but I put it on my door. I kissed her. I didn't say it. I kissed her on the yeah, yeah, yeah. She even looked at me like, what'd you do that for? <laughs> Dad, <laughs> you know what's what I mean? going on? <laughs> yeah, but she don't know. I put it on my daughter like this time I'm, I'm going to try to. To really because i tried times before but it was just yeah, like you know yeah. you, you, i wasn't all the way in but this yeah. time it was like all right i'm gonna I'm really try to you know because I, I i know he's talking to me yeah okay god 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 put that calling out there and you hear brother good deal man and, and, you, and i was glad that you heard it because man some something really bad could have happened brother but that's what yeah, it, I, I wouldn't be here yeah yeah so the lord was using you for this time hey brother and um do you think, man, the environments that we grow up with, man, that, you know, hanging in, in with certain people, do you think they have an influence on us, man, or a lot of the Absolutely. youth and everybody growing up, you think that that causes us sometimes to go down paths, man, that sometimes are, are detrimental to us, man? You know? Absolutely. Um, the whole world is a, a, a network of influence, man. Mm -hmm. I believe that it's, it's depending on what you are giving your attention to at the time, you know, growing up. You know, in CT, where I'm from, it's not that bad, but, you know, there are people who are outside where they don't have good intentions. You know yes. what I'm saying? So when it ends up being your surrounding, it's kind of like even if you have positivity and you, you find yourself in situations where you might have to make decisions that are not normal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I, said in, I said in one of my songs that we we glorify kind of these disorders yeah. that we adopt from the street that we feel like we have to be a certain way yeah to accept each other like the streets is a spirit that's not even yeah. a real thing that's a spirit yeah. Like, yeah. you know what i'm because, saying and yeah it's not even a a biblical thing it's more or less a, a mentality you know which is yeah. the, the very least it's a survival mechanism yeah. the same way any white collar or blue collar is yeah. though there it's it's street but in a different terminology they have corporate yeah. behind them you know what i mean yeah they're, cut, they're cutthroat they lie they they cheat they, yeah. they do everything we do they just do it in a bigger and, and, on a bigger yeah. platform you know what i'm yeah. saying so yeah i think everybody is affected by their environments in some way or another but in our culture particularly yes. um i feel like it starts from the from the mud like this it don't get no lower no grimier yeah. than where we come from. And, and, it, and it's almost a, a, a beautiful struggle in the same yeah. sense that we're able to take something and make nothing out of it, even if it Man. means it, the, the toxic behavior, I'm, I will never, you know, stamp that or give it approval or condone it. Yeah. I'm just, I'm yeah. just more or less like when you have your back against the wall in those kind of environments, you can find your way. And I've seen it. I've been there. I've, you know, stood on the sideline, been on the, on the court, and mm. uh, to, to my to my answer, I think us as human beings, we will we will adapt anywhere you Amen. put us to survive, Amen. and 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 that's my response to that. Amen. So yes, Amen. definitely Amen. has an uh, influence. Yeah, man, good word, good word, stacks. Hey, man, that's most definitely the truth, man. I mean, you get in an environment, you're back against the wall, you're gonna have to rise. So I mean, just have faith in the Lord, man, and we just gotta keep on moving, because in the end, man, God has the final say, my brother, most definitely, brother. Absolutely. Hey man, now man that you turned your life over to the Lord Jesus Christ, man, what is the best thing about being a believer, man? The Lord yeah. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> What's the best thing about that yeah. thing, man? Serving me, that man right there. <laughs> meeting, meeting guys like you, man. Meeting guys like you, bro. And, okay. And just, 
you know what it is for me as of lately because it, it comes in different stages you know okay um, okay and I, I can't even take you through all the stages there's been so yeah. many evolutions in my life with christ and and just so everyone knows i've been saved since 2010 and okay. uh if there's a, a date on this video this is 2023 yeah yeah you know what i'm saying so it's mm -hmm. been 13 years from january mm. um so i'm gonna i'm gonna be in 14 years come this january so hey, in this personal stage of my life man i would say i'm dealing with a lot of me i'm dealing with a mm. lot of how yeah. i respond uh to life circumstances and situations things more so that i can't control and That's i good. love it i'm loving it because not only does it teach me patience mm -hmm. it teach me it teaches me how to view the, the world through a different lens you know what i'm saying as opposed to thinking everything is supposed to happen and when i want it on my time and how things are supposed to go we have to accept that there's some people that just not are perfect there's some Amen. a lot of imperfections but this is what makes us leaders Amen. because some people some people can take it and 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 break it down and put it back yeah. together and get its final form and and the way it was supposed to be mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying if you take a yeah, monolith yeah if mm -hmm. you take a monolith with which is just a rock a monolith is a rock and some people just see a rock they're like ah this is worthless but so, uh, like a sculpture a sculptor yeah. can take it and chisel a whole statue out yeah. of it and yeah. he sees a, he sees a masterpiece before it's even carved yeah. out and yeah. this is the same way god sees us and he's had the patience with me so i've Amen. looked at the person that i've become man and i'm, I'm not falling in love with me personality wise i'm saying I'm, i fell in love with what jesus himself can do through your character with the with the, with the gifts you know what i'm saying oh yeah. man that's that's a good word brother and that's the truth man what's well, amazing man how god can take a, a man that was on the streets or or what everybody said wasn't gonna make it and make him a leader oh man yeah, well, god facts. is good all the time man god is good all the time brother all stack time. zion i want you that's to finish right. this sentence for me brother god has always been with me god has always been with me since day one, since, brother. Since day one. Never left my side. Never left even my when, side. Even when I didn't feel he was there, he was there. Okay. And that's well, that's brother, for somebody out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know, man. Give me give me give me one man, one event that you know, man, God was God God was by, by your side, man. And you knew it had to be him to protect you. I know it's probably plenty, bro. We've been leaving on what you been living. But give me one yeah. that you said, man, you know what? That was my man right there. That was my man right there. I know that yeah. was my man right there. Uh, there's a lot of those, but my favorite is the the first time he spoke to me, audibly. Okay. And okay. Uh, this was one of the times I was staying in VA with my dad, and I used to smoke a lot. I used to uh, go to the trap house, and, and you know they used to be yeah. getting it in there. You know everything is there. Everything is there. Yeah. And um, uh, you know I'm I'm young. I'm like 16. These dudes are older. You know I've mm -hmm. always been around an older crowd, and mm -hmm. uh, from my dad's house to the trap house. It used to be like a mile, like a mile walk. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It was train tracks, okay. train okay. tracks along the way because they got train tracks on the street over there. Mm -hmm. I never, I never saw that in CT, but like over there, that's, yeah. that's yeah. the thing. <laughs> so I used to, you know, take my little L's and, and walk alongside the train tracks to go to the trap and just chill. I would just, you know, whatever. Okay. And I, I got maybe halfway through the walk, and I've heard his voice audibly say, "Turn around," mm. and I stopped. And I said, I looked at the blunt, <laughs> like, nah. <laughs> you, you're like, there's something in this or what? Yeah, 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 yeah There's some bad uh, stuff I'm anyway, smoking. <laughs> listen, it, 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 there is nothing that can get that voice out of my head, the way it sound and what I mm. felt. Mm. It felt it felt like protection. It felt Man. like peace. It felt like a provider. It felt like I have your best interests at heart. I didn't Man. even have to. I didn't even have to look around. To see if any you know anybody was talking to me i knew it was inside of me mm. and it was the lord speaking to me and in, in my and my spiritual air and i identified with it. i said that that's god I, yeah. all right and i, I turned around and i finished smoking but i <laughs> I, I walked the other way and listen i got home and um, I normally leave my TV on BET. I know 
some people a little older, you know what I'm saying? We used yeah, to watch yeah. BET, MTV, yeah. Mm -hmm. VH1. Yeah. I always left my TV on, on, on BET, like every time without fail. It was always, when I turn on my TV, BET is on. Okay, yeah. So when I got home that night, I turned on my TV and BET is not on, it's MTV. And I'm mm. like, why, why is it on there? Who's been in my room? I'm not even, you know, I'm like, all right, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so, you yeah. know, and TV is it's a little bit more like you know contemporary music, yeah, yeah, maybe some yeah, country. Yeah. And this guy, he's playing his guitar in all mm -hmm. black and shades, and he's just you know, and he starts saying, "You better get yourself together before we leave." And I was like, "What?" And immediately, the scripture of Revelation Man. fell into my spirit of the wow. rapture. Like, get yourself wow. together because if you're not right. By the time mm. God comes back, brother, it's going to be a wrap for you because you can, God loves you, but you can step out of his will and, and the love that he has for you, that protects you. You yeah. walk out of that, especially mm -hmm. after he tells you, it's on you. Amen. And that, that's the most, uh, I guess that answers your question. I hope that answers yeah. your question. Yeah, no, that answers, bro, <laughs> most different. Most yeah. different, bro. Hey, that's that was it. good, Stack. That was good, Stack. Hey, man, if you could FaceTime, man, Anybody in heaven, man, who oh, would you shoot. FaceTime, man, and what would you tell them, bro? Jesus. <laughs> I would talk to Jesus like, man, <laughs> where you at, bro? <laughs> where you, where you, where you <laughs> at, man? Like, we waiting on you, bro. We, yeah. Man, come on, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's been like 2,000 uh, years, uh, okay, bro. Okay. We've we, we been waiting on you. Like, I, I would okay. honestly, like, if you ask me, anybody in heaven, definitely Jesus, man. Ain't definitely nobody Jesus. else. Ain't no, okay. but ain't no name greater. Ain't nothing, no name you could say great. I mean, people, yeah, my, you know, rest in peace to whoever lost someone. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, Christ knows all, man, and, and and he's the reason for us even being there if we make it. He's the one I want to talk to. Like, bro, look, I'm trying out yeah. here. How it's looking up from up there, man. How, how am I doing, man? Like, how long? I be asking questions. Tell, tell me what I need to get together real quick, man. Yeah, real man, quick. Like, you know, <laughs> like, just give me a Most little break for next season. I'll be trying to get all kinds of nuggets just, out of them, bro. Look, you be having writing stuff, hitting the phone, everything. Yeah, most yeah, definitely, bro. Most definitely. Yeah. Hey, hey, bro, what, what, do you, what do you think, man, about accountability, man? Oh, man. One of my favorite words, man. Accountability helps you with the character aspect of uh, what people call the better version of themselves. You know, mm -hmm. the one thing that I, I uh, deleted from my uh, my vocabulary was being a better version of yourself is impossible without Christ. Amen. You know, uh, <laughs> I mean, technically, we can say the devil was good mm -hmm. <laughs> before <laughs> yeah. he was bad. Yeah, we could say we could say yeah, yeah. we could we could say Judas was good before True. he was bad. You know what I'm saying? True. But I think to be the better version of yourself means to take someone that's better than you and and to try to become that. You understand? So yeah. when you're asking that. It's kind of a, a of a self reflection for me, you okay. know what I'm saying. Um, and I don't want to get off topic. Either. No, no, you're good. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, you yeah. Know, I'm just, so you're I'm, good I'm though. Accountability, just... accountability does starts with the yeah. self because once yeah, you yeah. once you start holding your own self accountable, and then you yeah. look at people around. Because the most important thing is holding yourself accountable because you're gonna be the one that got to answer for your sins, answer mm -hmm. for everything that you do in life. So, brother, that is most definitely, man. That that that's most definitely the truth, bro. You gotta learn mm -hmm. to hold your own self accountable. That's, yeah. that's that's good. That's good, brother Stack. That's good. But hey. you need people who know you too. I'm sorry, I'm not to cut True. you. True. No, no, no. Go ahead, bro. You, you good? You good? You, you need you need people who know you also, mm -hmm. so yeah. they can they can hold you accountable for uh, what you feel is right versus the truth. True. True. Yeah. True. True. That's all. Good. Good word. Good word. Hey man, what what do you think, man? I know there's probably not a real solution or nobody really has the answers, man. But what, what do you think that we could do about, man, to curve some of this uh, killing, man, some of this drug dealing, some of this just the craziness going on in our hoods, uh, man, with, with the youth, man? I know they're really not an answer, but is there any any just general ideals, man, that, that we could you could just say, hey, more community evangelize, programs? Evangelize. 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 Okay. You know what? When I was out there, what, what was lacking 
was men, leaders. Okay. Ideal. Men are leaders, but they don't know what their purpose is. Man. You could be a leader yeah. and not know what your purpose is. You could be the president of the United States. That might not be your purpose if you're a bad president. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I think anybody as a human being is supposed to try to make the world a better place. The same Amen. way you will if you had a family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And every man that's out there doing those things, they think they're doing it for their family. They mm -hmm. think they're doing it to better their lives. They're doing mm -hmm. it for other people's lives to be better. If you ask them, they're saying mm -hmm. they're surviving. They're doing what they got to do. They don't want to work for X, Y, Z. They want to they wanna get it on their own, and they're going to get it by any means. So really, in their minds, they're not doing anything wrong. Mm -hmm. If they had their, their way, and you asked them, I believe that they would they would get their way if it didn't involve hurting people or yeah. someone suffering at their expense. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah. But, uh, but unfortunately, to get those things and attain it without going about it the right way, someone has to get hurt. They don't know this. Or they do, and they just counted the cost and said, you know what, it's worth the risk. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so I, I believe in a lot of ways when we get out there as men and we show them that there's a better way and we show okay. them that we have come from where you've come from, yeah. And we can do better with our lives with Christ and become better people at the same time. It benefits everybody because if everybody grows up like you, yeah. the world is going to be upside down. It's going to be, there's no hope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's yeah, us. It's yeah. us. We Starts have to us. get out there and start speaking and start evangelizing and going Amen. out to get those brothers and saying with intent, I see yeah. where you're at and asking mm -hmm. them, what could I offer you to Amen. make it better for you? What's not going right in your life that makes you go this way? Because sometimes it's just by choice. Other times, yeah. some people don't have a choice, depending on the person. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's a good word, brother. That's a good word. And I'm hoping that whoever viewed this, this interview, man, most definitely get that point. Because it does start with us. We love to get in these communities and evangelize and let these youngsters and people know, hey, this is where we came from. I was once yeah. you. You know what I mean? I didn't have that. And I, exactly. and I didn't have that. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have to become what you needed. You Amen. know what I'm saying? That's a good and word, that's, bro. That, that's what the answer that's is. A with a lot of pro if anybody out there has this question, how can we fix it? Sometimes it takes you to be a trailblazer. Sometimes there is no book wrote on, written on it, excuse me. Uh, there mm -hmm. is no uh, trailblazer who's started the first street ministry where you're at you might have to be the one to say you know what let me go out here and do it and that's where it might start amen amen good word good word brother hey brother yes, stack sir. zion man what is a positive word of encouragement man you can get to anybody see if somebody want to commit suicide see if they want to go back on the faith just say man they just at the point where man and they're at the point where they even losing faith in god man what is the word of encouragement you can get them brother Wow, you said you said a lot. You said a lot, <laughs> man. Um, now losing faith in God and and losing faith in yourself. Yes, two two totally different monsters. Yes, because there are some people who never knew God and lost yes. faith in themselves. Mm -hmm. There, there's people who, you know, know themselves and just lost faith in God. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. And most definitely, most definitely. You have, uh, I feel like there's different levels to it. Uh, mm -hmm. It definitely starts with you. If you Amen. know who God is and, and, and you know how he moves, you know who, how he operates, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that you losing your faith in him has nothing to do with him mm -hmm. <laughs> and everything to do with you. So we're not going to yes. look at Amen. God like he's the Amen. problem. God yeah, is yeah. the answer, yeah. not the yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, all right, so if you lose faith in a being that you've never saw, mm -hmm. which you're supposed to have faith, which faith means you can't see it, the substance yeah. of things hoped for and unseen. Same. Yes, right? yes. You mm -hmm. lost faith. Mm -hmm. This this means that you were let down somewhere. Somewhere Amen. you had something that was unanswered. Mm -hmm. um, there was no response. You were left on your own. Yes. Let me share with you even Jesus himself okay felt left out and left on his own by his own and this is his father yeah 
Why What's have that? you for, why have you forsaken me? Taking me, yeah. And there was no answer from God. He said, "You, this is what you're dying for." So this when you ask God, purpose. "Where are you?" I'm losing faith. Mm. Well, are you losing faith with who I am or what I can do? Because you're still telling me you're losing faith, which means yeah. you believe in me. Amen. But are you Lord. you're losing faith in me? or what I have done, or what I have not done for you. Amen. Because Good there's work. a reason. You can't live for everybody else. If I yeah. took somebody else, or if I made this happen with somebody else, you don't know what kind of relationship I have with that person. That was between me and them. Amen. I'm God, and Amen. They, they're, they're them. They're, they Amen. led their lives. You cannot control. All you can do is pray. Man. And put put them angels on it, and Man. and and hope that God changes His mind because God can change His mind. But if it's not Man. in His will, if it's not in His will, Amen. That ain't none of your that ain't none of your business. Amen. Good work. Let me focus on you, right? So now we go on to suicide. All right. Mm -hmm. Suicide can be so many different things. It can be depression, anxiety. It can be chemical imbalance. It can be mm -hmm. post traumatic. It could be bipolar. It could, it could be so many different things that back in like the 70s and 60s, we didn't even have languaging for mm -hmm. these kind of diagnostics that we have today. Mm -hmm. You know, we have suicidal hotlines and stuff like that. What about yeah. back in the day? Back yeah. when they didn't have no phones, no internet. There was no explanation. Just people just, yeah. they were yeah. done. <laughs> You're like, exactly. I'm tired. I don't, exactly. I'm out exactly. of here. I'm checking out. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah most definitely. I believe there's a level of grace that God would give those who who, who do not know, because some, you know, God does protect babies and fools. Yes. And if you feel like you want to be with God and no one has ever gave you the gospel or gave you the good news, I believe you will be with the Lord. That's just my personal belief. But okay. if you know God and you have turned to suicide for your answer and you have told yourself that God is on the end, of mm. my end that i end myself mm. you are being deceived by the enemy amen god gave you life how can mm. he breathe life in something that wants to now take it away and say oh i'm good i don't need it anymore mm. and you you know me i gave that to you and you're gonna knowingly look at me and say oh i'm good i'm done with this this breath thing this life thing's not for me i'm out of mm. here See you later. That's just like you giving birth to your child. And I'm saying, mm. you know what, dad, I'm good. I'm just gonna go over here and jump off this bridge. Thanks for getting me here, it was fun. <laughs> yeah. See yeah. you later though. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm a whole dad loving you, right? Do you know what yeah. that would do to yeah. me? Do you know yeah. what that would do to me? Mm. I, I yeah. created a place for you. I go and prepare it for you. I go and prepare yeah, it. But there's Amen. a place that I prepared for the enemy too. Yeah. I'm not I'm not there. I'm here. That's you go definitely. down there, you you can't even breathe down there. Man. Ooh, it's in the depths of the in the, in the depths of the earth. I'm not there. My yeah. presence is not there. Mm. There is no spirit, there's no blood, there's no life there. There's no light. There's just fire. That's the only light you're gonna get. It's from Man. fire. There is no you you want to oh you you want to leave me for that? I brought Man. you here for Ooh. such a time as this. If you haven't figured that out, you're being deceived. Amen. And you're being deceived because you're not close enough to the body. And this is where we got to stop forsaking the church. People is oh man, I don't need to go to church to be saved. Okay, that's probably why you're going through what you're going through by yourself. Because you don't need to go to church to be saved. You don't even read the Bible. So Amen. how can you be connected to someone like myself or you who has yeah, discernment yeah. and exactly. is saying, how you doing today, brother? Oh, you feeling yeah. that way? Do you know that you've been called for a purpose that before your mother's womb, even though you yeah. might not know who she yeah. is, yeah. Before, yeah. Your, before your dad even looked at your mom with the, yeah. with the cool, like, you know what exactly. I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. He already said, I got a plan for it. When he get done, that, yeah. that baby, I got a plan. Man. So the enemy coming at you harder. You understand? And if you don't understand 
what's going on this earth, you're going to get swallowed up because people think that it's all natural. It's spiritual. Spiritual. We wrestle not against This is what we're missing. You can yeah. go out and get all of this YouTube university and all this psychiatric and better mm -hmm. yourself and, and, and crystals and, 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 and what you call those, the, the smoke, the, the, whatever they put, uh, uh, incense or whatever. Yeah. 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 Cleanse yeah. the demons in it. Nah, oh yeah. Yeah. That ain't, okay. <laughs> that, so ain't that ain't it. it. That ain't <laughs> it. <laughs> you got so to be just... connected to the source, to your life giver. And oh, uh, I, I, I think that, you know, for what's, what it's worth, um, it starts in the homes. The men okay, who are the priests man. need to lead their family to Christ, man. And if the men- hey, 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 can, can you repeat that, bro? Repeat that one men, more time. The men, it starts with the men. Amen. The men have to be the priest of their household to lead, lead their family to God. And this is man. where we're messing up. There's no fathers in man. the household. There's no man. man in the house. So the enemy comes in and says, hmm, no priest, huh? No prophet, huh? No mm -hmm. pastor, huh? Mm, let me put somebody in there that's going post dramatically yeah. mess them up. And, and, yeah. and I could send somebody that's going to rape them. I yeah. could send somebody that's going to do their mom dirty. And before you know it, they ain't got no faith in, in the one they really need. All I got to do is convince them that I don't exist. And that's Man. the devil. So how do we have Man. a name for the devil? You call him the devil. But you don't know who God is. Man, mm. that's crazy to me. Well, that's 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 deep stat. Ooh, I'm just boy. saying. I'm just saying. Man, but you, it's true. It's true. Hey, the truth is the truth, saying. bro. The truth. That's the truth, bro. Man, brother. Hey, man, that was deep, brother. Stack, man. That was that, that was deep. That was deep, Stack. Zion. Woo. That right there was one to grow on for myself, brother. That was good. That was good right there. Hey, brother. Now, man, we're gonna talk about about your musical career, man. We know you talented, man. You know, we know you be doing uh, your thing on the music. Let's talk a little bit about your music, man. What, what do you call your music? What kind of music do you make for the uh, people, Christian, man? Christian rap music, man. Hip hop, whatever you want to call it. It's still hip hop in the essence um, of the form that I deliver it. You know, I'm a very, very, very strong student of hip hop. Been that way since like middle school. Um, then I got saved, and I kind of just took the the wisdom that i had in god and collaborated with the wisdom of hip-hop and made or i i guess moved forward with something that i feel is my calling one of my callings and um okay. you know uh stack zion is my stage name rap name whatever um his acronym seeking to arm christ kingdom zion so if everybody can see right there it's a stack zion yep. Stack so Zion, that, yeah, yeah S-T-A-C-K stands for Seeking to Arm Christ's Kingdom. Then it's Zion, which is you. If you're God's chosen and, and the way God referred to his people as his daughter is Zion. So it's Seeking to Arm Christ's Kingdom, Zion. And amen, you know amen. Saying? I just started using the pen, take all of my, my illustrations, my, my uh, literal, uh, uh, literal senses of like, communications um oh man it's just so many different ways you can yeah. communicate the music i, I just man. love lyrics love words yeah. love love the english language man you know and uh, that's it man I, I just dropped a project called prototype z prototype z uh consists of 15 songs it's doing very well i got a lot of supporters uh yeah i got a project that i released before then called project z um working on my third right now i'm blessed man to just be able to be able to create and i love the space i'm in right now musically you know it's, it's, it's you know just expanding my cerebral like you know good deal man soul. good deal hey man yeah. hey brother why don't, you, why don't you go ahead and give me your email man give him some contacts if somebody want to go go pick up the stack zion downloads man or something like that or just connect with you man why don't you give me your email or something like that you know little, little Listen, handles man anywhere any platform is stack design. It could be on Spotify, it could be on iTunes, it could be on IG, it could be on Facebook, it could be on TikTok, it could be on Twitter. Everything is stack Zion. YouTube, uh, man, I think I don't set them all, but hey, if you are looking for, I would say, positive music with an edge and a message, but still gives you that uh, that veracity, 
that that energy you need uh, to get you through a day. It's nostalgic, um, good good sonically, harmonic, uh, j- just a lot of a montage and just lyricism. Stack Zion is a very good candidate. <laughs> Again, it's oh yeah, S-T- yeah, S T A C K Zion. On G- at Gmail, by the way, if you want to contact me through email, stackzion at gmail.com. Yeah, oh, and also, the- I'm sorry, and also the website, no. www.stackzion.com. Amen, amen, good work. I was just going to say, brother, I'm going to vouch for that, man, because that music banging, bro. It is banging. Thanks, bro. Man, it's banging, it, bro. You in there, bro. You in there for sure. Hey, brother Stack Zion, man, this has been a good interview, man, but you know, Minister Change, man, cannot let you get out of here, man. I know you already saved, but I got to offer you the Lord Jesus Christ, brother. So I was just wondering if you could just bow your head, man, and repeat after me, brother. Absolutely. If you mind doing that. Yes, All righty. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner. I believe you died for my sins. I believe you died for my sins. Right now, I turn from my sins. Right now, I turn from my sins. And invite you into my heart and life. And invite you into my heart and life. I'm going to trust you and follow you as my Lord and Savior. I'm going to trust you and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, brother. Amen. It's been a good interview, man. Hey, brother, always appreciate having you, man. It's been good. You got a good word, man. Brother, just keep on, man, doing you. Keep on serving the Lord, brother. I'm going to hug you in prayer, man. And God yeah. is good all the time, brother. Hey, time, never give bro. up, brother. Blessings, yes, blessings, blessings, brother. Yes, sir. I love you, man. Thank you, bro. Rest in peace, X. Christ is risen. Let's get to it. Hey. You want peace? Lift them up. Gotta speak. Lift them up. When you weak, lift them up. Like a beast. When you came to my dig, lift them up. Let me see. Lift them up. When you reach, lift them up. Oh, you sleep. Lift them up. Hey, yo. My name is Mike Sex for Jesus. I am seeking the own Christ kingdom. My name is abbreviated to mean this. I am seeking the own Christ kingdom. My name is Mike Sex for Jesus. I am seeking the own Christ kingdom. My name Abbreviated to mean this I am seeking the on This is who they do it Ain't looking to be your favorite MC in the kingdom I'm music for entertainment My music is just a way to say You are written amazing Two way communication Two means to the savior So cool be to the anchor To whom seeking a rain Excuse me but I must put a few things on the table Few screams I'm a rated from groupies with occasional Mood swings in the label on Who's king of the greatest Who beats to the radio Who sleeps to the stage And a routine for the way to go Proving the people nascent Who's thinking that making that moves easy as lacing Your shoe screams and you waste But who's leading the Satan Who free for the statement So do please get a revelation finished Let it hit you like Bruce Lee to the chest with prayer hands I am tailored to the cadence of Caleb surveyor land It's heavily he stamped but it hears the dead in name Bring you on peace Lift them up, gotta speak Lift them up, when you weak Lift them up, like a beast When you king of my game Lift them up, let me see Lift them up, when you reach Lift them up, oh you sleep Lift them up, what is you free Lift them up, risen king Lift them up, you disagree Lift them up, cause this is me When you king of my game Lift them up, let me see Lift them up, and when you reach Remember 
I feel it. It's the part we get low. Hey, hey, you want peace? Lift them up, gotta speak. Lift them up, when you weak. Lift them up, like a beast. Where you want to my D? Lift them up, let me see. Lift them up, when you reach. Lift them up, oh, you sleep. Lift them up, but it's you free. Lift them up, risen king. Lift them up, you disagree. Lift them up, cause this is me. Where you want to my D? Sleep. Oh God, sin of the saints, let us change. You got a testimony, you got a testimony, you got a testimony, you got a testimony. God gave you a testimony. Speak it right now. Call me this a change. 260-203-6655 If you wanna share what God did for you, call him right now Which made us a change 260-203-6655 The email is live C-H-Y-A-N-G-E dot T-O-T-T-E-E At gmail Cause uh You got a testimony I got a testimony You got a testimony I got a testimony And it's a change Call him right now 260-203-6655 Go